When you go to the health food store these days, the number of different probiotic preparations is uh, overwhelming. Uh, there are different strains, there are different uh, numbers of billions of colony forming units or CFUs. And I think that, you know, what we talked about in BrainMaker is that there are some key players. For example, Lactobacillus plantarum is a species. And we list five, uh, five total uh, species that I think are really the key players. Uh, what you want to add to that list, I think, uh, is up to you, and the science is certainly changing with time. Uh, but what we do, we do know is that certain lactobacilli, certain of the bifidobacter uh, group, are really fundamentally important to look for when you're buying a probiotic. And I'd say you really want to start uh, choosing uh, probiotic supplements that have uh, a, n a number of organisms, at least 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 billion units uh, per capsule. And I'd say it's probably the best idea to take your probiotic on an empty stomach when your stomach acidity hasn't been uh, turned on by having a, a food in it. And also really be careful that you're consuming your probiotics with a liquid that doesn't, for example, uh, contain chlorine. Chlorine is in municipal uh, water. It's put there to keep bacteria from growing and that would not be uh, something that you'd want to have in contact with your probiotic.